Manhattan is a gorgeous city with many great sights to see around every corner. Rarity was invited to Manhattan's Fashion Week to present her designs at the biggest fashion contest of the year. The ponies were excited to be in the big city. It was so beautiful. They couldn't wait to go sightseeing. As they walked the streets, Rarity explained that in Manhattan, every pony does nice things for one another. That is what makes Manhattan so splendid and amazing. You do something nice for some pony, and then you never know when they'll do something nice for you! The city was so amazing that they almost forgot about the contest. If they didn't hurry, Rarity would be late. Oh, it's no use. The cab drivers just drive right past to get to the next pony in line. Suddenly, a kind cab driver arrived and offered to take Rarity to the contest right away. So now, which of you nice folks are hopping in? Fashion Runway Plaza in seven minutes. Can you make it? Hang on! Rarity made it to the Fashion Week Runway Plaza just in time for the contest check-in. But she forgot the dresses. My, my dresses? How can I possibly forget them? <laughs> <laughs> My, my dresses! How can Luckily, I possibly forget Rarity's them? friends remembered the dresses, <laughs> and a friendly bellhop delivered them to her. Got them right here, ma'am. Your friends told me you need these in a hurry, so I offered to race them over myself. You're a lifesaver! Backstage, Rarity met some of the contestants in the fashion contest. Hello, every pony. Pleased to meet you all. Prim Hemline, the host of the event, was upset that Rarity barely made it on time. Miss Rarity, how is it that all your competitors are here half an hour early, and yet you arrive seconds before we begin? A pony named Suri helped Rarity load her outfits into the dressing room. Suri was also competing in the contest. My, your collection is gorgeous! She liked Rarity's dresses so much that she asked to borrow a swatch of her fabric, and Rarity said yes. Just a touch of this fabric could be perfect with it. Oh, hey, would you mind terribly if I took a swatch? Oh, not at all! Here, I have loads extra. Just a touch of this fabric could be perfect with it. At rehearsal the next day, Rarity discovered that Suri had done more than just borrow some fabric. Suri had stolen Rarity's designs and showed them to the judges first, pretending they were hers. You stole my fabric! I didn't steal it, okay? You gave it to me, remember? How could you possibly make all of those outfits out of it so fast? Suri was dishonest and cruel. She made her assistant, Miss Pamel, 
work all night without even saying thank you. Well, I wanted to make sure you'd win, so I took the extra time to- Quiet! I pay an assistant to sew and get coffee, not talk, okay? At the hotel, Rarity told her friends that her designs had been copied. She was very upset. <laughs> and then one of the other contestants used some of my one-of-a-kind fabric, <laughs> and then she turned it into a wardrobe just like mine. <laughs> Only now it looks like I'm the one copying her. The ponies comforted Rarity by offering to help make new dresses for the contest. Now, Rarity, whatever went wrong, we're all here to help you get through it, no matter what it takes. Still determined to win the contest, Rarity had the brilliant idea to use a hotel theme for her new designs. This new line is going to be marvelous! Perhaps even better than the last! It's daring, it's bold! Perhaps I still have a chance after all! <gasps> Even though they would miss out on sightseeing, Rarity's friends helped her create the new fashion lineup. Oh no! We're short on time. Would you help me make the most fashionable dress? I'm thinking Hotel Chic. You're a lifesaver! After hours of sewing, the ponies finally finished Rarity's dresses, but they were so tired that they fell fast asleep. There. That's the last of them. Rarity took the dresses and hurried to the contest. She was so distracted that she left her friends behind. The fashion contest had begun, and soon, Prim Hemline announced that it was Rarity's turn. And now, Rarity from Ponyville with a brand new line. And I mean brand new. Hotel Chic. The crowd was very excited to see Rarity's new hotel chic dresses. However, Rarity realized that she left her friends behind at the hotel. My friends! They didn't come! What have I done? Rarity zipped off the stage and left in the middle of the contest to go find her friends. I have to go. Come back at once! This is unheard of! While Rarity searched for her friends, she thought about the way she treated them earlier. Rarity regretted not thanking them and leaving them behind. Oh, they worked so hard on my behalf, and I repaid them with unkindness. What have I done? Rarity found her friends at the hotel. They all looked sad because Suri told them that Rarity lost the contest. Suri told us you lost. We're really sorry. Rarity apologized to her friends for leaving them behind and promised to make it up to them. I lost? You know what? I don't even care. I'm just happy you're all still here after how I treated you. Twilight and the others forgave Rarity, and understood how much the contest meant to her. We may not have seen you at your best, but we know you, and we would never let one thing like that change how we feel about you. 
every pony was surprised when Miss Pamel arrived with the first place trophy. It belonged to Rarity. Miss Pamel explained that Surrey lied about Rarity losing the contest and tried to take the trophy for herself. Surrey was hoping that if you didn't claim your prize, the judges would consider it a forfeit and first place would go to her. Miss Pamel also brought Rarity beautiful rainbow colored thread as a gift. She thanked Rarity for her generosity. Well, I saw how generous you were with your friends and how generous they were with you. It made me start believing. There was something better for me out there. So I brought you something to say thank you. The ponies learn that gratitude and kindness are part of the magic of friendship. Rarity celebrated the power of generosity with her best friends in the streets of Manhattan. The End